of Berkshire Palestine Solidarity Campaign are here today at this amazing backdrop of Windsor Castle in order to bring to the attention of all the people and the crowds that have been here today that we need to act now to stop this pernicious anti-boycott bill from going through on the third reading. This boycott bill, although individuals can still make boycotts, but this bill will prevent us from having a say in where our funds go for organisations and groups that will be disallowed from disinvestment and from boycotting anything that is against our conscience. We don't want to be paying our money into the arms trade, into the effects of the global warming and many, many other human rights abuses across the world. And we would like to have a say in where our money goes. And therefore, it is our democratic right to be able to boycott anything that is unethical and not in line with our conscience. So today we're here asking people to sign a petition find out about this anti-boycott bill and make sure that you try to defeat the government. 70 plus organisations have formed a coalition against this, realising the danger of this pernicious bill. And there are many of the government MPs who are also standing against it. And there are specific mentions within the boycott bill to Israel, which is why Palestine Solidarity Campaign is really strong on this. It's the only country to be mentioned in the bill, to be protected by a bill that the UK government is putting forward. And we need to stop that. Boycott has historically been an effective, peaceful and ethical way of making a protest. And we need to continue that. And we've already done so many boycotts in the past. For example, Barclays Bank, which funds the arms trade to Israel, Puma, who sponsors the Israeli Football Association and they have teams in the illegal settlements so not upholding international law. In the past we've also had actions against HSBC Bank and also against HP Hewlett Packard. We need to be able to voice our opinions to these companies and not have our government seal our lips and stop us from standing up for what we believe to be right. Thank you.